Hey guys, it's Justin here with another tutorial video. This is going to be the second tutorial video in the Grunt Destruction series. Um, in the last video we talked about adding texture and stuff to your model. In this video we're going to talk a little bit more about texture, but we're also going to talk about adding some physical battle damage to your model. Um, and we're going to be doing most of our demonstration here on this shield. Uh, just a friendly reminder that if you are interested in participating in this contest, uh, there are details to the contest in the description below. Uh, there's also a coupon code, Justinius10, you can use to shop at Mecha Warehouse and order your kits and save 10% doing so. Uh, so let's get into it, guys. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing battle damage, um, ranging from you know dents and dings to bullet holes to other things. So this is going to be kind of a little bit of a part two to what we did last time because uh, some of this is going to be texture, it's just going to be in a different way and then some of this is going to be more what you're expecting to see here, battle damage. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, wearing down edges. So we've got a clean surface here, this nice smooth shield. This is the only thing we're going to work with today. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start chewing away at the edges. Um, so, in my opinion, whether it be light combat or pretty heavy, you know, duty use, um, you are going to start seeing the, the edges wear away, usually first before you see anything else. Uh, and that is due to uh, the environment or other things um, kind of chipping away at the, at the edges of the surface. So. Uh, I'm going to use a variety of different kinds of files here. Uh, these are pretty much everything except for the flat files. So this is just a totally round file. This one is a uh, four-sided like pyramid file. This one is uh, a really shallow curve and then uh, something a little bit harder. And then this is a triangle like a pyramid file. So you can just kind of use these in conjunction with one another to create interesting details across the surface of your model. Um, these aren't really high quality and the reason I keep these around is for stuff like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of grab just an angle. Um, let's do like down here. Yeah. And we're just going to drag that file. It's okay that it slipped like that. It's going to just add to the variety that we're here if you want to twist it you can do that too and what we're doing is we're literally stripping the surface of you know how sharp it is so that looks like something has pretty harshly scuffed against this this corner and you can change the direction you can slide the file different ways um, and that's going to kind of help sell that effect And the same thing goes for these. Um, you want to use these kind of in conjunction with one another to create just different looking surfaces. And I, I would really only recommend using stuff like this on harder angles. You can obviously, like if I wanted to create the effect that like maybe there was like a sword mobile suit or something, I could very easily just kind of come in here like this keep that as close to a line as I can and just kind of take a little bit of that out. Now this is going to need further refinement as we go, but this is a really solid way to start. Um, now again, you're going to want to make sure that you at least start on the other face as well if you're going to do something like that, because that's going to kind of help reinforce the idea that this is something that really happened. So we're going to use various files, we're going to work our way around the surface. And if you want to go over some of the stuff you've already done to soften it up or blend it in, go for it. You don't have to hit every single edge, but remember, harder corners, so like on this particular shield, these four corners so you can see it. These four corners here, these four corners here, 
and then these inside corners are where you're gonna focus your start, the start of your damage. So like, I'm gonna grab this little flat end and I'm just gonna kinda wheel that away, flip it back over, kinda, like I said, blend that in just a little bit. And then grab the triangle again, and we're just gonna give us a light, light scratch. You come the other way if you want. And I just want to wear away at these edges. So this is this is what I'm going to do around the entire surface of this, or well, this is not the whole surface, but the edges of this shield to create the illusion that this has been in pretty heavy combat um, and it is, you know, it's been, it's seen better days, I guess would be the easiest way to put it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's kind of the result of what we've done. Uh, just let me get that in focus. There we go. Um, you know, I, I tried to go around most of the edges. Uh, I'm going to refine this further, but you get the idea. Um, do this until you get, you've got something you're happy with. Uh, most of my issues come from like around here. I think some of these are a little too... Um, deliberate looking whereas around these edges I think they look a little bit better and more natural um, so once you're you're satisfied with this uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do um, some like shell damage so this is a well this is probably truthfully a space unit but uh, let's say this is a unit that was on the ground um, and it was shot at by this rocket launcher. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take and I want to find something that is close to what I believe the, the width of this rocket launcher would be. And um, you know, I've kind of come up with these two. So I've got a drill bit and this uh, kind of rounded head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out where I want my rocket to hit. So we're going to go with somewhere around here. I, I just kind of want it on the lower bit. And I'm going to take a very small drill bit, and I'm literally just going to do enough to put a dimple on the surface. Now, that's obviously not a rocket blast. Now I'm going to take a larger one. I'm going to widen it just a little bit. Again, still not large enough. Uh, these are going to be my pilot holes for this. So I'm going to take this large bit and I'm going to start twisting it by hand. And we're going to start seeing a larger, a much larger dimple. This will probably work a little easier for something like this where it's just a rounded head. So that's kind of where I want it to look like it hit, but I don't want it to look like it hit directly because that would be a whole mess. So uh, I'm going to use this just a little bit more. I'm going to try and widen this just a little. There we go. And we've gone almost all the way through. Uh, if I shine a light through that, you can see it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the effect that. Uh, it was shot and it kind of glanced off, so I want it to kind of stray this way a little bit, maybe down. If you can't quite get what you're looking for, try changing to a different file. That, that extra little bit of an effect. But we're not done here. So the next thing we're going to use is um, a little bit of putty. 
Give me a putty back at it again. Just trying to squeeze too much off this time. I'm going to take a toothpick. We're going to get a pretty good amount. And we're going to fill this hole with the putty. Then we're going to take an old brush and we're going to kind of press this putty into this hole. And we're going to use that angle that we created. To help create some little pieces of molten shield or whatever and then we can literally just take our extra putty here and just kind of dab some in the corners and kind of rough this up a little bit more and this is going to create the illusion that there's a little bit more to this surface So, that's uh, a couple of the ways we can we can do things. Now, there's one other thing I want to go about, and that is, um, say you've got a lot more surface that you want to cover. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to go over um, a quicker way, another way that you can quickly add lots of damage to a surface. So we've got our textured piece. Um, this is the shield, so this is going to be the heaviest piece as far as this goes. Um, I'm going to recommend that if you do any kind of texturing or weathering or anything like that, start with your shields, start with your feet, start with the lower parts of the model because it's a little bit more acceptable for that to be a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to take my Dremel tool here. This is uh, a Dremel 300. Um, this thing goes pretty fast even on the lowest setting. And I'm going to use this uh, sanding bit. I'll probably swap between for this one. Uh, or maybe even this one as I do this and I'm literally just going to put it on like a middle setting and I'm just gonna kind of tap along the surface and I'm going to let the Dremel do all the work for me so let me switch this over to a manual focus so I can be sure that you guys are gonna see what I'm doing
and then there's, there's just a pretty short demonstration on how that's going to look. So you see the top, it's still pretty intact, but down here at the bottom, it's quite chewed up. Um, I'm going to recommend if you're going to go with the Dremel, be a little bit more sparing. Um, again, I did this on the shield first because I knew that the shield was going to receive a heavier amount of weathering than uh, anything else. Not by a, a whole lot, but enough that I could get away with it if it wasn't uh, as light as I intended. So there's the idea. Um, hopefully this has helped you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, in the next video we're going to talk about paint. Um, painting is a pretty straightforward process. There's a lot of ways to kind of tackle it. Um, so I hope you guys look forward to uh, laying down those base coats with me. And I will see you guys next time. Later.